the fortunate thing that we have right now here in the United States is that we are the world's reserve currency, which gives us the ability to spend and borrow way more money than other countries in the world because everybody in the world wants to own dollars. Even Warren Buffett talked about this in his latest shareholder meeting. What he said was, we the United States are the reserve currency. I see no option for any other currency to be the reserve currency. That's the good news for where our economy is today. But our economy isn't a static image. Things are always changing and things are always conforming. Because then Warren Buffett went on to also say, it's very hard to see how you recover once you let the genie, the inflation genie, out of the bottle and people lose faith in the currency. So yes, we are the world's reserve currency today. There are no other options for the world's reserve currency. Nobody can compete against the dollar today. But if inflation continues to stay a problem, if people start to lose faith in the dollar, if people start to lose faith in the United States currency, well, then things can change very quickly. And that's the concern that Warren Buffett is talking about. And that's the issue with if we continue to go down this route of being the largest debtor nation, continuing to spend way more than what we bring in, continuing to print a lot of money, and continuing to face high inflation, all of these things then cause people to lose faith in their own currency. This is not the first time we've seen this happen with the United States dollar. Ray Dalio wrote an amazing book called The Changing World Order, where he talks about different times in history, going back to the ancient Roman Empire, of how you see the same things happen across empires, across civilizations, where you start with a currency that's backed by metal, and then the economy, the government, then starts to debase that currency. If you go back to the ancient Roman Empire, they used to operate on metal coins, things like silver. And then they started debasing their physical silver. The way that they did that with physical metals was they started mixing the silver with other cheaper compounds. And at first, it creates an economic boom. The government wanted to invest in more infrastructure. So then they started debasing their silver, mixing it with other cheaper metals, and then distributing it. Again, good in the short term, but then people said, I need more money. People started demanding more currency. And this continued on and on and on and until eventually the currency essentially became worthless. And that was one of the causes of the collapse of the Roman Empire. Now, is that the only thing? Of course not. There's a lot of different factors at play here. But it's a very similar story across civilization, across empire, across countries, where now you create a currency, you start printing a lot of this currency, without now that metal, which means now you're essentially printing wealth, which creates a economic boom, which benefits everybody. Everybody feels rich. Everybody gets fat. Everybody's having a good time. And then eventually you print a little bit too much. And then that starts the downfall. And that's the situation now where if the United States continues to print money, if we continue to spend money that we don't have, if we continue to inflate the value of our dollar, that is going to create long-term pain. And this is where now your job is not to be freaking out about this. This is not something that happens in overnight or even in six months. This is a very slow process, but this is something you want to understand. And this is something that now you, as a financially smart person, as a financially educated person, want to make sure that you're taking care of your family and yourself, because no matter what happens, you want to make sure that you are protected. And that starts with you being financially educated. Now, of course, we have been covering everything that's going on with our currency and the economy in Market Briefs. Market Briefs is my free daily financial newsletter where every day my team is working to break down what's happening and things like the economy, the housing market, the stock market, the Fed, crypto, and the global economy. It's a fun, witty, and easy to read email. You can read it in less than five minutes every morning, and it's completely free. So if you want to stay up to date on what's happening in the financial markets, Market Briefs is an easy way for you to do that. And I'll put the link to Hike and Join for free down in the description below. There are four main phases that you see when a currency enters decline. Number one is when a currency moves away from being backed by something physical. We saw this happen in 1971 when we temporarily separated ourselves from the physical gold. Phase two is when you as a country shift from being a creditor, meaning you're loaning other countries and other people money, to being a debtor, where now you're relying on other countries and other people to give you money. 
That happened to the United States in 1985. Phase three is when overspending becomes a part of a culture and then people and your citizens become reliant on this free and cheap money. And now you have to keep stimulating and keep growing the economy, producing more of this currency, aka printing more of this money. This became very apparent after 2020. And then comes phase four, when you see countries around the world and the people using that currency want to distance themselves from that currency because they're worried about the decline in the value of that currency. This is now where once we start to see this happen even more, when you see more and more countries start to distance themselves from the currency, which we're starting to see happen now, but we haven't seen now citizens start to back away and move away from the currency yet. But if that were to happen, then you would see a lot more issues and huge inflation because then people would start to lose faith in the dollar. We haven't hit this completely yet, but this is now that concern where we have already shifted away from gold. We've become a major debtor. We've become so reliant on this free and cheap money. And this is where now you have to keep an eye on people's trust and faith in the currency because now at the same time, we're seeing countries around the world start to distance themselves from the dollar. Now, this is where you have some people saying, oh, it's not that significant yet. But sure, maybe it's not that significant yet, but you have to pay attention to the trends of what's been happening over the last number of years. Right now, what we're seeing happen is that more and more countries around the world are trying to ditch the dollar as their means of exchange. And it all started when the United States started to sanction Russia when Russia invaded and attacked Ukraine. When Russia launched their attack on Ukraine, obviously this was a hideous act. But then the United States decided that they wanted to punish Russia because they did not like what Russia did. And what the United States did was they froze Russia's assets. And as soon as the United States did that, this created a little bit of shockwaves and red flags to other countries around the world that if you do something that the United States does not like, we, as the elder brother or the older parent, will punish you and we might freeze your money that's held in dollars. So that created almost like a warning for other countries that, oh, if we keep our assets in dollars and we do something the United States doesn't like, that could come back to bite us. If you enjoyed this short clip from my longer videos, here's another clip that I think you'll love. And while you're at it, if you're interested in learning more about how to start generating passive income, our team put together an amazing guide on how to start generating passive income for free. All you gotta do is click that button right over there. Thank you for watching and as always, keep hustling. <laughs>